Okay, uh, first hunt out for the new year, 2016, on uh, stubble maze today. Roy's back from his jollies in Australia. Hello, Roy. And um, let's see what happens. Ah, it's tiny. Let's use the wind. There you go. I think that is an Edward half penny. Turn him over. Lovely condition. A bit warm, but I mean, oh, that's a cracker. That, just for perspective, is on the end of my little finger. And it's tiny. But what a great start to the year. Well done, Roy. Alright, we'll get an idea off that, but I'm pretty sure it's an Edwards half penny. Lovely. Okay, come back to you in a bit. Just stand on it, stand upright, put your foot on the third rail up and then get over. Right, put two feet on there, one foot on the next one up as well. Here you can. Yes, you can. There you go. Go on, Roy. <laughs> Don't fall off backwards now, Christ. <laughs> right, Roy's just walked over and um, produced that. Made a bronze. Um, neither of us are sure if it's a flat axe or bronze age axe head or not. No socket on the end, but um, you never know. But if you look at the taper on the end there, it certainly looks like it's been sharpened but uh, so we're not sure really could be if it is fantastic fact but uh, we'll, um, we'll have to get an idea on that and see what um, see what we make of it <laughs> put it in the scrap for me <laughs> yeah put it in the scrap in no don't do that that's um, I'll put my money on that be an access Back to you. Right, out on my own today. Lovely sunny day. Uh, a bit cold, but um, I'm just going up and down these maze rows. Roy's not with me today. He's uh, sort of ligament in his leg. He's got cabin fever and he's like a caged bear. So. Uh, I'm sure any well wishes would be greatly received. Um, anyway, first signal is musket ball. Okay, had a few nice bits off this field, so you never know. Make the most of it before it gets ploughed. All right, we'll come back to you if we get anything else. All right, guys, just come up the uh, maze row here. Uh, got a pretty good 11:40. It's literally just on the surface there. Hope it might be my first silver coin of 2016. Yep, George third six months by the look of it, pretty worn. Little hole through the top of it. So yeah, little sixpence. Pretty sure it is anyway. Yeah. Lovely. Off the mark, thank God for that. Might get a day off that, but I'm not sure. In fact, I think just on the back of his head there, there's a little counter stamp. I think somebody's uh, put some initials in the back of his head there, probably when they wore it as a pendant, I guess. But uh, lovely, I'll take that. Right, let's see if we can find another. Right guys, it's, uh, it's 
still in this maize field. Only about two hours now. Um, I think I might have just got another silver. Give a funny signal. Yeah. Little George fifth. Sixpence. Ooh, what's the date on that? 1929. Which explains the funny signal. <coughs> um, Came up with a 12.29, 12.30, so... Okay, it's another silver, 50%, but I'll take it. Okay, number two for the year. Lovely. Alright guys, out of the club dig today. Um, obviously not going to show you uh, much of the location, because I don't think I'm allowed. But, um, this find, I think it's a little Roman. Not much detail on it, but a little Roman to start off with. So let's see how we fare. Apparently, this is a good field and could be some hammer come off today, so fingers crossed. Alright, second date, decent signal, and a uh, little cut quarter. Happy about that. First hammer of 2016. Not much detail on it, but it's still a cut quarter. Take that, and guess what I'm using today? The T2. <laughs> Not used one of these for a while, but I'm enjoying it, and uh, forgotten how good a machine it is. So we'll keep looking. Alright, just got another signal. It's just in the clip there. And there's another cut quarter. That's two cut quarters today. Not bad. I'll take that. Yeah, just back at the car and a bit of lunch with Mark. Mark's uh, had four cut halves. A little Irish. Edward, I think, two Henry III long cross, and um, another Edward, I think. So that's pretty good. Right, guys, just after lunch, um, I think I've got my third hammered. We have a 52 target ID on the uh, T2. It's uh, a bit worn, but. It is a short cross, can't really see much more than that for now, but we'll clean it up. That's good. So, three hammered in one day, I think that's a new record for me. Excellent. Alright, welcome back guys. Um, fields are starting to be ploughed, which is good news. Um, so we've got a little window for the next couple of weeks where we can get on uh, a nice bit of flat roll drilled fields. Um, just hope the weather keeps off because the weather's been dreadful the last couple of weeks. Uh, out with Roy, he's just mooched over there. Not had anything else yet, but we've only been here for about an hour. Um, out with the e tractor today. And uh, just walking along, I saw it before the coil went over it, but just a little surface find there. Looks like it might be a silver coin. So, let's have a little look. Yeah, little Vicky sixpence, worn smooth. Nothing on that side, but just make out Victoria bust on the back. Oh, well, that's a silver. So that's uh, silver number six for the year. I'll take it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, next signal, and that was deep. It gave a very faint reading, it was about 11.46, 12.42, something like that, but it was faint and I just thought, well, probably a deep tin can, but you can see there, that's the level of the pinpointer, so it's a good 14 inches down. Anyway, just got another scoop out, and uh, there it is there, lying there, so I haven't looked at it, but I think, by the look of that, it might be a half crown, George V. Yeah, half crown, lovely. 
That's a nice find. Uh, let's see if I can see the date on it. 1923, I think. Camera won't focus. No. 1923. Yeah, definitely. So, 50% silver. Not full silver, but I'll still take it. Nice find. Okay, another silver. Right, guys, just a little find there. Had a quick look at it. Um, thought I'd film it because it does look a bit unusual. It looks like <laughs> well, it looks like a duck wearing a motorbike helmet, but um, I don't think it is. Uh, it's a mount off something. Um, not sure. Not sure on that one, but thought I'd record it because I have had uh, Roman brooch cut it from around about there and another one from over about there so you never know could be Roman might be nothing but uh, if it is something at least we've got it on film so we shall see 